Today I will show you how to make this crazy wiggle effect. Yo, it's Povikas here. And yeah guys, today we will make one of my favorite effects, which is this crazy wiggle effect. And if you guys like these type of crazy effects that have like this crazy distortion or shakes, then I have an absolutely crazy impact right, preset spec, which lets you add over 25 of these insane energy impact presets that work fantastically for music video transitions or for any types of edits. And they just look absolutely nuts. I mean, you can just add shakes, chroma, distortions. I even have some creative effects in there, so I would definitely recommend to go and check it out. And it will be linked in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so we are have a clip of Yeet, and we can straight up just hop into it. So we can press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here, the first effect we're going to add, it's actually going to be one of the only effects we're going to add, it's going to be called S Warp Puddle. Now, this effect requires the Sapphire plugin, so you absolutely need to have the Sapphire plugin. And I I absolutely recommend to have the Sapphire plugin because I think it's one of the best plugins in the whole game. But anyways, what I like to do here is I like to just instantly give him the amplitude and I also like to give him the frequency. But on the frequency, here's where it gets fun. I'm going to make it to 0 0.1 at the start. Now it's important to give him this at the start of where we want our wiggle effect to happen. So I want it to happen right here to start here and I will end it right here guys, by the way. I'll have it pretty much for 15 frames. So do what you want, you know. And here I also also like to give him the rotate puddle and I like to go to inner radius and here it's a little trick I like to do I like to make it to minus 890. Now you might be wondering okay because nothing happened what are you even talking about let's make something happen actually let's go to the last frame we want where we want to have this so it's going to be right here we can actually press U to see the keyframes that we just made so here we go these are the keyframes we made and here we can just fuck around so like I like to make the amplitude here to zero which you might think okay well I did nothing we just made it to zero. The way this is the key part. Frequency is what we need to change. So I like to change the frequency to somewhere from three to seven. So I'm going to change it to 4.3, which will do this crazy wiggle effect as you see here, because it keeps changing dynamically, like as you can see here. And and another little thing I like to do is like to make the rotoid puddle to 197. And now you will have an absolutely crazy effect just like this, but you can definitely make this a bit smoother. So what I like to do is I like to select the amplitude and frequency keyframes both of these press f9 now click out of them and just go to amplitude and go to the graph editor of it now don't worry don't get scared this is going to be very easy all you have to do is just select this and I like to drag it down a bit like that at this point I like to drag a bit to the middle like this yeah so I like to have it like this it's nothing huge now let's go out of the graph editor and go to the frequency graph editor by selecting frequency and here this is going to be a big a bit of a different graph I like to make this go a bit up like this but at this point it needs to go completely right here because the frequency is the thing that's changing the most here as you remember yeah okay so something like this is amazing for frequency and boom and now yeah, actually you have a crazy wiggle right now but okay you might be wondering okay well it's just the wiggle we need some more energy here now to add energy you can add you know shake effects or distortion effects so those effects are actually really hard to make it after effects but i have an insane solution as i talked about about in the intro of the video, I have an impact Amazing. preset spec which has over 25 of the effects that we exactly need right now. So we can go to impact presets and we can of course press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer to add these effects on. And one of my favorite effects to combine with this effect is going to be flash shape. So yeah, just added that at the start. And here we can actually select both of these clips and press Ctrl Shift D to cut and delete the first parts. Boom, this is what we get. We get this crazy huge impact just like that, like actually insane energy as you can see I mean that is literally insane and now you can just copy this by pressing ctrl c and then press ctrl v and drag it on top of your other clips so for example here but I'll show you a little bit of a cheat you can also do if you want to make this even cooler you can press ctrl y and add invert below now for this invert I like to just add it for a couple of frames so I'll just press ctrl shift d delete that go one frame forward press ctrl shift d delete that so we'll have invert for one frame right there and we can
can go to this frame, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and make this inverted go here. To make this even crazier, you can also add the deep glow. And when you add deep glow, I like to go to invert channel and I like to make it to HLS to give a bit of a different color. And you can just spam this invert how much you want and you will have the best wiggle effect you could actually make in After Effects. And okay, here we have another read clip. So the layer below that we had made the wiggle on, we can call this to wiggle so we don't get confused and we can press Ctrl D on it to duplicate it. And here, let's just bring it right here. Let's do more. You can have so many crazier variations for this. So what you can actually do is press Ctrl to Y and on top of here, add Shake Chaos Impact, which is, as you might guess from the name, an absolutely chaotic effect. I mean, look at the impact you get. Like, look, boom, like that, like a darkness, almost like, like a really quick, like almost like a flash, like shake flash. I don't even know how to like, explain it. This is just super cool. And again, you can duplicate that wiggle again by pressing Ctrl D and let's actually go to a next clip and I want to see what I can do for this clip. So I'm going to press Ctrl Y again and here I'm going to try one of my other favorite effects which is going to be Distortion Flash. I think this is going to look too good. I mean guys, this might look way too good. Okay, so yeah, we have this and this. Oh yeah, wow. And now let's make it for this. So let's duplicate the wiggle again and add it on top of this clip. And here we can press Ctrl Y and I'm going to try an effect that I haven't tried on a tutorial yet. I'm going to try Pink Distortion Shake, which is one of my other favorite effects. And I mean, look at what we have just created in literally like two minutes. All right, the thing that took the most time was literally the whole wiggle effect. Everything else, we literally just dragged and dropped and look how crazy it looks. Also, look at the Pink Distortion, boom. I don't know what to say. I mean. I think the results speak for themselves. This is a literal cheat code for video editors. If you want to have the best video edits or music videos in literally minutes, or also you could do this in seconds. And also as a gift for watching these tutorials and just supporting the channel, I will also have to say that I have a $5 discount code for the impact presets pack, which is going to be called Povicus. If you use code Povicus, you will save $5 off on the impact presets pack. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.